Good afternoon, everybody. Hello again from Central Ground CrossFit. This is the Ground Grown Podcast Tips and Strategies for workout number two in the 2017 Open, aka 17.2. This week, we've got your dumbbell front lat rack lunges, as if dumbbells were not enough from last week. We've got your toaster bars, we've got your dumbbell power cleans, and we have, of course, the most dreaded of all the movements, the bar muscle ups. So this week, I am joined by Coach Sam Bengzen, and he'll be giving us tips on the toaster bars and the bar muscle ups. But of course, we're gonna start you guys off with your dumbbells, right? So first and foremost, just already to into that setup, we've got your dumbbells and we've got your dumbbell power cleans. Our first rec recommendation here is to hold the dumbbell on the back side of the dumbbell towards the back end of the rubber. Right about here, instead of right in the middle or instead of the front. This allows you a leverage so that when it's up on your rack position, the back side of the dumbbell rests on your shoulder. As you bring it down, as only one side of the dumbbell is needed to touch the floor, you've got that distance leverage, right? And as you use your lower back. Now, for the lunges, I want you guys to think about a comfortable position where you can wrap the dumbbells without using your forearms, because you're gonna need them later on the toes to bar. So if you have to shift it upwards so that the dumbbells are resting on your shoulders, if you saw Adrian Bosman do this, it's fairly efficient. Now when you're lunging, try not to think of just lunging forward and straight. Think about lunging forward and slightly to the side. This will allow you to be more upright and lose your balance less, okay? Last thing, breathing. As you guys lunge, every time you go down, think about inhaling and think about exhaling at the top and try to focus on maintaining that. Last piece before I pass you guys on to Coach Sam. Doing your power cleans with the dumbbell as you go into your next round of lunges. Think about doing seven first. Take a step back, take two breaths, come back in, finish that last dumbbell power clean for the tie break time, then start your lunges. If you need to break at the end of your 25 foot mark first, feel free to do that so you can grab your breath, set yourself back and start your gymnastics movements. And with that, I pass you guys on to Coach Sam. Hello, okay, toast the bar. Um, yeah. Okay, toast the bar. Okay, this is gonna be your rest, right, Job? This is gonna be your rest. Okay, so you want to control your heart rate when you're doing your toast the bar. Manage it into small sets, maybe four sets of four. Um, I did it earlier, and I did two sets of eight, and I went too fast and burned out on the bar muscle ups. So um, over here, please. For your toast the bar, you guys want to have. You want to loosen up your hamstrings really well, okay? And open up your shoulders so you can get your nice range of motion for your hips. Be able to get that nice extension, be able to hit that, that bar really well, okay? So, stand. All right, um, what else? Um, for the bar muscle up. Um, twos, I, I did it in twos. Uh, I didn't want to get to that point where I'd fail any reps. Um, that Usually if you push too hard and you end up missing a rep, it's really gonna um, play with your mind. You're really gonna end up having a hard time going through the rest of the workout. So basically, yeah, for your toaster bar, treat it, at, treat it at, as your rest and try to fat, make your heart rate go slower and mobilize your lower body, your hamstrings, so that you can have an easier time uh, kicking up to the bar. All right, and that's pretty much it for this week. Again, so just to round it off a little bit, this one's gonna be a forearm killer or a grip killer. Unlike last week, I would say that 17.1 is definitely more painful than the lungs. This one will hurt less. So a lot of it is the proper approach, both mentally, how you guys break your repetitions, whether you're doing pull-ups and or bar muscle-ups, or even your leg raises or your knee raises. So a lot of it's just, just kind of gauging what you can maintain so that you can maintain your lungs or basically your engine throughout the entire 12 minutes. It's a lot shorter compared to last week. And for 17.2 tips and strategies via the Ground Grown podcast, I am joined this week again by Coach Sam. My name is Joe, that's Renzi behind the camera. We'll see you guys in 17.3. Good luck. Peace.